Gefangene, vergessen Sie nicht, dass Sie bei jeglichem Widerstand gegen Umerziehungsmaßnahmen der umfassenden Gewalt des Strafvollzugs ausgesetzt werden. Vergessen Sie nicht Ihre Pflichten im Strafvollzug. Sie befinden sich hier als Folge Ihres Handels. Leisten Sie Ihre Strafe mit Würde ab. Vergessen Sie nicht, dass der Besitz verbotener Waren automatisch eine Strafverlängerung nach sich zieht.
Gefangene, vergessen Sie nicht, dass unerlaubter körperlicher Kontakt zwischen Häftlingen automatisch eine Sterbverlängerung nach sich zieht. Ich mach dich kalt! Ja, komm schon!
Hast du mal Zitronenkaffee versucht? Der wirkt wunder. Hat mir meine Schwiegermutter mal empfohlen. Zitronenkaffee, ja. Glaubst du wirklich, dass das hilft? Das ist ja ekelhaft. Weißt du, was das Schlimmste in dem Ganzen ist? Jetzt hat es auch unsere Kinder erwischt. Bevor wir hergezogen sind, waren die alle noch in Ordnung, frisch und munter. Aber in diesem Stadtteil, das ist die Stadtregierung. Die verarscht uns. Mit dem Beton, da ist etwas nicht in Ordnung. Du nimmst eine Hälfte Zitronensaft und eine Hälfte schwarzen Kaffee. Das sagt sie. Schreibst du eigentlich Leibesübungen jeden Tag in frischer Luft? Glaubst du das wirklich? Glaubst du wirklich, dass das in Ordnung ist? Das ist eine spezielle Fabrik, von der dieser ganze Beton kommt. Ich habe das getestet. Ich habe mir diesen Beton angeschaut. Der Schimmel, der kann sich da total schnell und tierisch weit verbreiten. Und du denkst, sie haben keine Schuld daran? Wirklich? Ja. Jetzt hör mir mal zu. Sei doch nicht so blauäugig. Seit zehn Jahren schaue ich mir das schon an. An jedem Arbeitsplatz, in jeder Wohnung. Überall der gleiche Beton. Und das wird immer vertuscht. Das ist deren Schuld. Zieh dich doch selber an. Also, wo willst du hin? Hallo, weiter. Vorsicht. <lacht> I was a goner, and here you are, back from the dead, to save us all. Imagine that. Oh, what have you been up to, Captain Blaskowitz? Quit shooting, stabbing, strangling Nazis. Ready to set things straight, Wyatt. Fantastic. Well, let's get out of here, shall we? Hey, you close that door. Yeah, Clem, 
Time to go, Captain. Let's get out of here together.
got the Blazkowicz! Head up the stairs! out of there. Do any of you know how to hotwire a car? all over the city. They're tracking us no matter where we go. Nighttime will be easier. 
with more options. A daytime entrance into the Chrysal Resistance headquarters is not advisable in the least. Never been attempted as far as I know. But the skies seem clear. No one's following us. I think we can make a little history today. This is a two-part maneuver. Done right, we should head perfectly into a blind spot. Everybody ready? Go! Now! Run! the Nazis is they really are stupid. So long as we're hidden by this mist, no one will see us. Now, for the second part, the jump. Once we're underwater, hold your breath, swim after me. Stay submerged no matter what happens. There are Nazis all around. If you break the surface, they will kill us. Don't hesitate. Jump! out there, Captain. It's good to be home. Gently. Whoa! Stand down! This is Klaus. He's one of us. He was a Nazi before, but he's on our side now. Easy, Johnny. How is this possible? We are in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. It's the last place they would look out. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down, then, yeah? Fuck me. B.J. Blaskovich, I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry. Yeah. Glad to have you back, Bart. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conch. Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. So, what can you do? Fear collection, Jay. Wow, so happy to, like, see you, man. What's it been, three months since they hauled you away? I thought you were dead, actually. They send people off to that prison, and they, like, don't come back, you know? It's a trip, and you brought some new cats with you, actual, like, reinforcements. It's cool, man. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, would you please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen in on these frequencies. Anything out of London, make a note of the time and write down as much as you can. Here is pen and paper. Can I use your typewriter? You know how to type. Yes. Paris. Such. Not really. It was useful. 
useful during my time at the university. Leave me alone, all right? I don't know you. I'm not looking to make friends. Well, Doctor, please assist me in figuring out what these damn Nazis are up to. You can find Klaus on the set. Such schön die ganze Zeit nach dem Hammer. Hast du ihn gesehen? You know about before uh, going off on you like that's a force of habit. No worries, Johnny Cowboy. It's not the first time it happens. Yeah, perhaps you should consider removing them tattoos. I will in time. I was as you Americans say all wet when I got them, and I'm sorry to say it was a very proud moment of my life. I want removing them to be an even prouder moment. No more Nazis, no more tattoos. So long as you don't get in the way of me killing Nazis, we'll see eye to eye. Caroline's looking for a document folder, Project Whisper. Oh, he is a human. Max doesn't speak English very well, but he does know Project Whisper. It's a risky business operation. He knows it'll cost us to pull it out. Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Alice and Ordnung went on. We will fight for you. Caroline said you borrowed the folder. Do you have it here? I did take it two days ago, but I put it back. Go to the ground floor. The folder should be in the drawer in a desk in her room, where I left it.